Hello and welcome to the sixth and final part of this tutorial series and in this one I'll be showing you how to use mixins in your application. So mixins um, help you to factor code your code into reusable components. So with mixins you could actually share attributes and functions from different um, parent classes. So the, before I show you how to use mixins, I just want to point out the three um, major groups of generic class-based, or three major groups of class-based views, I mean. So you have the first group, which is the base, and under the base, you have the, um, the main view. You also have other classes inside this, like the template view, but I did not talk about that in this tutorial series. The next group is the display group, and the, dis the display group has the detail and the um, list module on direct. Then the final one is the edit group, which has your um, create, update, delete, and form views, and some other um, views in it. So the first thing I'll be doing in this tutorial would be um, recreating the post the post display view to use um, single object mixing and a view. Then after that, I'll be creating our own mixings from scratch to show you how it actually works. So to do this, we would first have to import the single object mixing from the detail group. As you can see, the post display makes use of the detail view. And from the previous video, I showed you that the, de the detail view um, actually extends the single object mixing. So to recreate this, we'll first import the single object mixing. And remember what the single object mixing does. It provides a way for you to um, return a single object to your view. So I'll just go down here and copy up this post display because we'll be recreating it. Then I'll Paste it. The reason I'm copying and pasting it is because most of the codes would be right now similar. So over here, I'll remove the detail view. And import the single object mixing and a normal view. So the next thing to do would be to remove this get object because we would not be using this get object. We'll be using the get method from the view class. So we'll just simply remove this. Pass the angs and the keyword angs just in case we need them. Then we'll be changing this. I'll make this a class attribute. So not necessarily, but I'll just make it that then we'll call the um, get object method here, then we'll just change this to so pretty much everything is still the same. The only difference is we're using the get method from the view. Um, we're using the, we are defining our own get method. So over here, we now, um, create a variable called post and this post is gonna we're gonna um, add it to the context data and remember the um, get up, the single object mixing returns an object so over here we'll pass the objects equals to the objects we just um, created above so yeah then instead of returning an object since it's a get method we'll return our template so we'll be using the render function like we always do then we'll import um, include the templates and the template is block detail that's html then we'll pass in the post variable so let's see so yeah the post display now um, extends the single object mixing and the view. And I'll be talking about the types of mixings you can combine with your class-based views um, shortly. So the previous ones used the detail view, but this one used the single object mixing and the view. So let's try this out and see if it works and I'll come back and explain further. So this is a particular detail we refresh. Template does not exist blog underscore detail. Okay, posts. 
posts underscore detail. Sorry for that mistake. Over here, you can see it's post underscore detail. So we just refresh and everything still works. So let's refresh. Yeah, 39 incre incremented. So we can see that the um, post displays update, updated um, and created using the single object mixing and our view. So you can see the reason why this works is because of the single object mixing, like let's go to the um, declaration. It provides the ability to retrieve a single object for further manipulation. And this is done through the primary key, which we passed um, to the URL. If you go over here and see the URL, we can see on the what is post detail. Yeah, this, okay. We passed in the primary key over here and that is why we could actually get a single object. So we used our normal get function and we got the particular object, the single object mixing returned by calling this self.get object. And the reason why this worked is because we extended a single object mixing. So this post display class has access to the get object um, function. So everything is pretty much the same. It's pretty much basic, I mean. So we just incremented the view count by one, then we had a post variable, then we added it um, to the get context data, making this post, um, making this um, object the object it should return. Then we passed in our template over here. So you can see it's um, very, very basic, but um, Using single object mixing comes with um, great responsibility because, yeah, it's very flexible. You could actually combine um, different mixings with your view to um, um, make your work easier. But you don't just combine any single object mixing together. You don't just combine any mixing together, I mean. So, for instance, now from the Django documentation, the rule of thumb would is that if you want to combine um, a mixing, just make sure you combine them from different groups. So you can see now the single object mixing, the single object mixing comes from the detail group, while the um, view class comes from the base group, and that is why this actually worked. So you'll be having problems when you combine stuff like uh, a single object mixing with a multiple object mixing in the same class because uh, method um, resolution order kicks in, or MRO for short. I'll be talking about method resolution order in some future videos, but for now you just have to understand that when you're extending um, multiple classes that has the same methods or attributes. Uh, uh, Python has a way of actually picking the right attributes or the right function you want to use. So sometimes there could be some conflicts where you extend um, cl um, classes that have the same um, functions and Python could kind of like be confused or the code might not actually work how you want it because it does not actually know the function you should call. So a rule of thumb, like I mentioned um, earlier, if you want to combine mixings, you could combine multiple, multiple mixings in your, in your application. But if you want to combine um, mixings, you just have to be careful with that. So you could combine stuff from different group like we did here. The single object mixing comes from the detail group while the view comes from the base group. So it's it's you just have to be careful. So um, the um, Django documentation advised you could just um, use stuff like this. You could combine like your view or your template view with whichever mixing you want. You'll be writing much code, yeah. But it's 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 better you understand what you're actually doing than just combining different mixings. So MRO will be a topic for the future. So I think we should proceed on this. So you've seen that I just created um, recreated the post display using the single object mixing and the view. So now you'll be asking, how do I actually create my own mixing? So I think that will be the next thing we'll be doing. So I'll just create a very very basic mixing and what this mixing does is going to be passing the uh, page title as an attribute in whichever class you extend. So what that means is that over here, if we come up here, you can see at the top here, you just have bloggers. So I'll be creating a mixing that um, you could actually pass in the page title from your view, uh, from your class-based view. Uh, too much talk. Let's get down to 
business. So I'll be creating that up here. It's just going to be a very basic class. So I'll call that page um, context mixing, and it's going to extend. It's going to extend the object. So the next thing we'll do would be to give an attribute called page title and it's going to be none for now then the next thing would be to define uh, get context data so we'll pass its page context mixing then we add the page title to it self that page title so then we return the context so the page context mixing is going to have an attribute called the page title and we get the context data of whichever class extends it then we add the page title attributes into it then we pass in the page title which we declared up here so to use this let's use this for our home view so what we'll be doing is we'll pass in the page context mixing and one thing you should note when you have a mixing and a class-based view the mixing should always come first before your class-based view so you pass in the page context mixing then over here we can give this page a title this is a very simple mixing so you could also have a mixing that has some functions you want to execute then in your base class you could actually call them so for this we're just creating this based on this attribute called the page title which passed to the context here so over here we could just set our page title to our home put that in a string home we save then we come over to whom I forgot we have to um, update our template so let's go to the home that HTML so we have the block title here so we have the block called title so we could just simply come back to home and call the block title here then we could pass in page title so let's go back and refresh and you can see it actually tells us we are in the home page and this was possible through our mixing we created over here so we created a mixing here and here we passed the page title you can see other one paginate by and all this all this comes from other mixings so we added our own custom mixings and included the page title which is home so if you want to this is not necessary but if you just want to uh, have your the content from the base template which is bloggest we just call in the block.super we save and we come over here you can see home bloggest and if you come to the detail view we could actually do the same thing so i'll copy this this is not necessary but i'll copy this to our post detail so in our views.py we could in our post detail we could where is it yeah page context mixing then we could pass page title just call it detail or something then if we save let me see page title detail Uh, 
dot do I let me see let me pass it okay let me pass it to since we did this separation of concerns let me pass it to this place and put the page title to be detailed because that is a template it knows that was my bad it knows about this post detail templates we specified over here so we could just come over here and refresh and you can see it actually works so you have the detail uh, then bloggest so that is just how to create a basic context in your Django application. So thank you very much for make, um, watching this tutorial up to this point. If you watch this up to this point, thank you very much because this is just my first series on YouTube and I hope to get better and do more. So thank you and bye.